Welcome back everybody to some more Medieval Engineers. Now this is going to be my Structural Integrity episode, showcasing to you guys the actual demolition of this game, and really, the biggest selling point I find for this game, because it looks absolutely fantastic, and if you are a fan of building, having that chance of demolition is always a good thing to have. So we're actually going to do some... Well, demolition today. That's really all I'm going to do, and I'm going to showcase the actual engine to you guys. So we got a large projectile here. We're just going to throw that down there, and then we're going to throw it at the wall. You, you, you can just throw a simple rock at the wall, and you can see that that will start to deteriorate the wall. It's not going to take long to take this wall down. You can see it's a very, very thin wall, so it should be quite weak if we bring this over a little bit here. It should, there, it's going to start to go right now, you can see. Now, this is going to be hard on any PC. This is a lot to load in. So, you can see it's going all the way up the wall, and this whole piece is probably going to fall out. Yes, here it goes right now. Um, give it a second to load. This was a bigger wall than I expected. Oh, wow, this is actually falling as well. Look at that. We just brought down a whole frigging wall. That is a huge wall. You should never be putting that much stress in your PC. I didn't expect it to lag that much, but uh, it's a lot to take in. And all of these pieces stay in the game. All the particles you see on the ground here are never going to leave. That is a lot to put on a system, but it looks absolutely phenomenal. I have not seen a game that had a better destruction system than that. Uh, let's go over here. This is a, a bigger part of the wall, as you can clearly see. I don't know if my PC can even handle this. It might crash. It might not. But uh, you can see it's a little bit more structurally sound. We got uh, more walls here. Just random stuff, really. And uh, it's just a really good showcase to show the deterioration of a castle. So we're going to start at the bottom here. We'll just hit it a few times. That should uh, make it a little weak, at least. I don't know. It's going to take a long time, probably, to make this thing crack. But we'll try, damn it. Oh, you can see it just slowly deteriorating. I shouldn't have went for something so big with my PC. Uh, I have a really good PC, so though I didn't expect it to... Uh, look at it. Look at it. It's just slowly deteriorating under the weight. Uh, I'm scared to actually throw another one in because I don't want to crash. This does have crashing issues because it's just so much processing power to really realize what's... Like, look, look at what's going on. I haven't touched it in so long. And it's just slowly crumbling under its own weight. Here it goes. Oh, my God. There it goes. Please don't. My, my PC might crash here, but holy crap. I just knocked down the whole frigging wall. It's going to fall on me. I better pull back here. Look at this. Look at this. I really wish my PC could handle this. I don't think any PC could handle this. Look at that. That whole thing came off and came crumbling down. And you can see it's starting to crash as well here. Keep in mind, this is very early access. This deterioration model will be upgraded. But you can see... Just the uh, the chaos that a few cannonballs threw at it. Okay, here we are with something a little more realistic. That that one was just crashing me one too many times. Uh, I don't think anything would be able to handle that. We're at a little bridge level here with a few bridges that we can break. Um, this is going to show you a realistic sense of an actual castle in a multiplayer setting when you're actually needing to defend yourself. This is a little bit more structural, structurally sound. You can see that there's more to it that you're gonna have to break to nail it down but it shouldn't take hopefully too long here if we just uh hit a few things here again you, you kind of want to go slow with it as well because it seems to take a little bit of time to load it might just be you know an error with early access you <laughs> like look at the pieces just explode off of it sometimes uh, we're just gonna keep hitting this side here and hopefully i want it to fall that way so it crushes everything but uh we'll actually you know Let's hit that, maybe. Oh, this is... See, this should fall, I think. I mean, it's looking like it should fall, but sometimes they're just a little too picky in this game. Again, it's still in early access. It needs a little bit of work. Like, look at that. That should not be holding up. Uh, we're going to keep hitting it, though. And it might actually be... There might be a hidden piece here. I find that there is sometimes hidden pieces, so if you hit over here a bit, it might break it down. I don't know. We, I might just be still hold out by these. I don't know. Okay. There's, like, nothing left. There we go. It's officially in the air. So sometimes it's a bit picky. If you hit up here, it should... There, there we go. Now it's gonna fall. Again, early access. It was floating in the air. That should have been fallen earlier. But, again, this is a voxel-based system, so... If you hit part of a voxel off, it's still technically connected, or at least the game thinks it is. 
Um, so, yeah, oh, that was just rewarding. I love the hitting the roofs. I mean, you can see that that got totally knocked down, and that's what I'm really excited about. That type of destruction in a multiplayer setting is absolutely fantastic. There's a bridge here as well. If we take down some, this is actually going to be really structurally sound, um, just because of how close these beams are, so I don't know if I can even knock this thing down. We're, we're going to try, though, damn it. Oh, there we go! Oh my god, just look at the destruction. I think it needs to be tweaked a bit. It's a little too hard to destroy things. I think it should be easier, but you also gotta acknowledge that this is a city builder, and how annoying would it be if you make one slight mistake and you break your whole thing down? I mean, just look at the rubble, though. That's what I like so much, is the fact that they're not getting rid of any of the rubble. They're actually saying that that might change, and they're going to slowly get rid of some of the pieces. I hope they don't. I mean, this is going to take a really good PC to load all this, but this destruction just showcases itself so well. Like, look at this whole thing moving as I'm hitting it. I really love the attention to detail here. I also actually want to see how high up we can create, um, look, there's actually a floating piece there, interesting. How high up we can create with just a simple wall here before it knocks down on itself. I think it's going to be relatively high, so we're going to see right now. I'm not even going to touch it, it's just going to knock down on its own weight. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. You can see this is quite high, but it did, in fact, knock on knock out over its own weight again not very realistic that is really freaking high but uh it does in fact break after a certain amount of time under its own weight so you have to take that in the mind when you're building something extremely huge you need a lot of support when it comes to doing that all right this is actually pretty worn out i want to start hitting all the walls off here and then only have the four side beams and see if taking out two of them maybe is going to bring... Oh, I actually took out that side beam on accident, but... Uh, the beams on the side are obviously going to be the most important. Uh, if we can start breaking the walls here, maybe the beams will give way. I don't know. All right, we're going to throw this beam out, I think. There we go. That one's out. You can see the two side ones are still up. Uh, again, it's very, very... Like, that should not be a... Oh, oh. It's not going. All right, here we go. There, yeah, you see, it's just, it's a little too hard to break it right now. I think they should tweak it a little bit. I don't think it should be realistic, but it should be a little bit more easy to get that tower down. Because although building would be very fun right now, actual castle sieging would be uh, extremely difficult. But you see, uh, about, I would say, 40 cannonballs took this whole little castle down. Now that is a beautiful castle. I love the added windmill. Um, this is some of the actual real castles that you can b build, and I hope I get this skilled one day. I mean, you got drawbridges, you got everything in here, a little town. This is something I would love to be able to build one day, and it is absolutely fantastic. Built on a mountain, too. Look at this. This is really, really nice, and this is, again, a very early version of this game. There's going to be a lot more added at the end of this, uh, once this game comes out of early access. So, really, really exciting to see it now. I'm actually gonna tear this bad boy down a little bit because that's what this video is all about. Destruction. So, this is gonna be very structurally sound. Uh, we're gonna try our best, though, to knock some of it down. There we go. There we go. It's going down. Oh, that only took five shots to get that whole thing down. And look it. I need to break that roof. That roof. The roofs are so rewarding. Watch this. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's hit the windmill here. Let's hit it right square in the middle. See what happens. Oh, the whole thing gets knocked down. <laughs> it's coming down with me. Oh, I just love the particles in this game. There's nothing more rewarding than a bunch of particles falling down a hill, man. All right, I'm going to actually try and break down this far tower, and I'm hoping it can pull part of the building down. I don't know, though. We'll see. It's slowly coming. I'm not, I haven't been touching it for a while. I've been just watching pieces slowly fall off under the pressure. And you can see it's slowly coming. Everything is starting to fall. This is what I like. This is the attention to detail I like. I, that was a good 15 seconds before it actually broke down. 
and everything deteriorated, and it's just going down the hill. Yes, beautiful. So, I actually noticed something as I was having a nice little stroll through my castle. Uh, I wanted to showcase it to you guys, so I'm hoping it does it again, because it's quite shocking, actually, for me personally. I didn't think the attention to detail would go that much. If I jump here, maybe it won't do it now. Maybe, oh yeah, it was, okay, it's when I put the weight on here, oh wow, it actually did way worse last time, or sorry, this time, it, last time it was just a little crack, now it actually broke the whole bridge, that seems like a, like a health hazard here, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, oh god, oh Jesus, okay, I actually broke the bridge from my weight, I swear I'm not fat, but I did want to go in here just to kind of showcase a more relaxing part of this game, what you can build. Again, still very simple in its current form, but I cannot wait to see where this game goes. You can see, this looks good. This is... I'm comparing this to something like Minecraft, and this is way better, and I'm so excited for this in terms of a creative as well as multiplayer game. Um, we actually can't get up there, so they do have to work on these la these stairs. They're a little too steep, but I kind of want to... I, I would like to just take my cannonball in here and just have some fun, you know? Just break some stuff until it falls on me, why not? That should be fun, right? There it goes! Oh, it's falling on... I am, I am falling with it. Okay, where am I? Oh... Oh, Jesus, I fell off the, uh, the uh, island. Okay, guys, that was just a quick showcase of the actual destruction of this game. Now I just want to show you a little bit of the trebuchet. We'll be doing more of this in the next episode, I think. But um, I actually don't even know how to work this. I'm totally guessing right now. But oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Uh, maybe if we do this one a bit, just a little bit. Relax. It's not... I broke it. I broke the friggin' thing. I wanted to showcase it, but you know what? Screw it. Okay, if we attach that to a cannonball, that should be good, right? This is how things work, right? And now if I let go of that, we should. Whoa. <laughs> well, not so much yet. I have a lot of work to do, but that's for next episode. I just wanted to give you a little showcase of a little bit of the weapons of war in this game, and I totally broke this thing. I feel sorry for it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.